Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over WSOC TV 9, and this is in the local news. And it says an arrest warrant has been uh, issued for a friend of Shaquala Robinson. Mexican prosecutor says the article was by Joe Bruno, and I will list all of the article details in the description as I always do. It says Charlotte, an arrest warrant has been issued in the death of Shaquala Robinson. A Charlotte woman killed while vacationing in Mexico, according to a Mexican prosecutor and confirmed by ABC News. Daniel D. La Rosa A., a prosecutor for the state of Baja, California, sir, told ABC, uh, ABC, excuse me, a friend of Robinson's who is the direct aggressor is being sought by international authorities on the charge of femicide. This case is fully clarified. We even have a court order there is an arrest warrant issue for the crime of femicide to the detriment of the victim against an alleged perpetrator, a friend of hers who is a direct aggressor. Uh, De La Rosa, A to ABC News. Actually, it wasn't a quarrel, but instead a direct aggression. Mm -mm. I don't know, y'all. We are carrying out all of the pertinent procedures, such as the Interpol alert and the request for extradition to the United States of America. It's about two Americans, the victim and the culprit. Authorities have not identified who they are working to arrest at this time. Okay. And this is Joe Bruno. You can go follow him over on his Twitter. I definitely will link all of his details in the uh, description. Okay. Michael Lefletti, an expert on femicide in Mexico, said when a woman is killed in the country, Authorities are often required to open the investigation as a femicide. From there, they look into whether she was killed for reasons due to her gender or if there were specific circumstances such as domestic violence. ABC News told Robinson's mom on Wednesday evening that an arrest warrant had been issued in the case. I feel so good. That's a good feeling. Um... Salamandra Robinson said, that's what we have been waiting for, for someone to finally be held accountable and arrested. I just can't wait for justice to be served. Her parents said Robinson, age 25, left for Cabo San Lucas with several friends on October the 28th. A day later, she was dead, said the state attorney general in Mexico investigating the case. At first, friends told Robinson's family she died of alcohol poisoning, but the autopsy showed she died from a broken neck and spine. Channel 9 obtained Robinson's death certificate. It lists the cause of death as severe spinal cord injury and atlas uh, luxation, uh, which is a uh, something to do with the neck, and said she died within 15 minutes of injury. Alcohol poisoning was never mentioned. In the box asking whether the death was accidental or violent, the medical examiner, the medical examiner wrote yes. After her death, video service of showing a woman attacking Shaquella Robinson, uh, Salamona, Salamandra, excuse me, Robinson previously identified the people in the video as the friends uh, her daughter accompanied on the trip to Cabo. While the original source of the video was unclear, uh, Selmo, I apologize, let me get her name right, please. Salamandra Robinson believes it was taken during the Cabo trip. In the video, a person can be heard asking if uh, Shaquala Robinson could at least fight back. The U.S. State's Department and FBI have also involved, got, been involved in the investigation or in investigating this case, rather. 
Robinson's death has drawn national attention. A GoFundMe for her family has raised more than $370,000, including contr contributions from several celebrities. This is a developing story, okay? And that is the end of the article right there. Um, you know, it's really heartbreaking, um, you know, but finally some progress is being made. They're not dragging their feet. So that's uh, any time, any investigation into a death, that's always a good thing. Um, at the end of the day, the thing that I think everybody wants is for her to have justice, for her, for her family to have justice, and to find out what really happened to her. Um, for them to just say that oh, it was alcohol poisoning and then to find out that it was, you know, severe spinal cord injury well, with uh, Atlas um, luxation is, you know, something totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, alcohol is basically, you know, you drinking it and that uh, luxation and spinal cord injury is physical, you know. And then for the video to surface, um, in many ways, I'm glad that the video did surface. And in some ways, I'm not um, because that could have potentially shown her last moments on this earth um, in that regard. However, it does paint a clear picture that she was not the aggressor. She was not, you know, um, you know, didn't look inebriated in any way. Um, you know, and that she was clearly being attacked. Um, I hope that more arrest warrants come down the line. Um, if, if anything, an accessory, especially the dude on the camera, uh, you a man, you should have broke that up straight off the back. If y'all supposed to be friends, you feel me? Um, you should have broke that up when you seen that that girl was not fighting back, period, point blank. But um, like they said, this is a developing story. Please drop down in the comments. Let me know how y'all guys feel about this. Um, have you heard about them issuing an arrest warrant for an individual uh, of interest? Let me know about that as well. And um, I will definitely keep you guys updated on this story. Until then, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.